If you've been wondering how to use DeepSeq uh, with N8N, I will show you how to do that in less than three minutes. And so first of all, if you don't know what DeepSeq is, this is a Chinese LLM model that's actually um, performing really, really well. Uh, so you can see on benchmark that it outperforms GPT-40 and Cloud Sonnet uh, 3.5. So I'm not going to go too much into details. There are already some uh, some tests on the internet that are uh, really good. Uh, so you can go and take a look for yourself. Uh, so this DeepSeq V3 has been trained on 671 billion parameter, which makes it the largest LLM model. Uh, so we are going to uh, focus on how to use it with NIN. Uh, so if you've never used it, you just need to create an account. So deepseek.com and then start now, or you can uh, request API access. And then you can test it using the chat, just like that. Um, so you can uh, uh, connect it to, uh, it's already connected to, uh, to the internet, which makes it really, really uh, interesting. And when it comes to API, this is very easy to use as well. Uh, so they have the, uh, the uh, API documentation here. So the API dash docs dot dot com, and we'll uh, we'll just focus on the quick start guide. So to use it with an uh, we only need an API key. Uh, so you can get the API key from the the dashboard. Just click on API key and copy it to your to your computer. Uh, once you have the uh, the API key, uh, you need to have a workflow in an 8 n So this one is a very very simple AI agent workflow. So that's just uh, just for for testing. Uh, so you'll um, just pick an AI agent here or, or a basic LLM node and then connect it to an open AI chat model. Uh, so we are not going to use OpenAI, obviously, we are going to uh, use the OpenAI node to connect to um, DeepSeq. Uh, so at this stage, what we, you want to do is to create a new set of credentials. Uh, so just click the pen and then paste the uh, API key that you've just created. Uh, you'll see that you'll have this red notification here that it couldn't connect. It doesn't matter. It will work anyway. Uh, next, you'll want to uh, add option and uh, just select the base URL. And basically, you want to uh, head back over inside the API documentation and paste the um, this one, the, the value of the base URL, so api.deepseek.com. And that's it. That's all there, there is to it. So now each time we may each time we make a call, this is going to um, send that call inside DeepSeek and not OpenAI. So very, very easy, but this is super powerful and really interesting. It's, uh, it's always good to uh, test and try different models, even though I don't think I will be using it for production environment. No, I want to see. Uh, I want to see how it's doing and keep an eye on it. So, if you're not already part of the community, you can uh, you can join us. This is free. So you just need to uh, click on the link. I leave it below. Uh, so this is uh, automated client acquisition free. And then here you can just click the uh, join button, and we we'll let you in. Uh, so we are currently 787. So this is um, this is a uh, really really. Uh, interesting community. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on the inside. Bye-bye.